Hey, so today we're going to install the Yggdrasil network and I'm going to show you some of the hiccups that you could get when you're installing it. I'm also going to show you some of the services that are on the Yggdrasil network and I'm going to show you how to host the service uh, itself. So uh, to get started, simply put, all you can do is just go to this installation page and you're gonna just run these commands one after another. They're pretty straightforward, except for when you get down to this part here. So when you're making configuration changes, they don't really explain what you're supposed to do here, uh, but this is how you're supposed to install it. So you're supposed to open this config file. And when we open this config file, Uh, this uh, section here called peers, it's going to be empty and you're supposed to go out and find peers that are available for you to add. Uh, now, there's no link here to where you can actually get the peers, but uh, up here, well, actually there is a link, but it's not like in the tutorial itself. So you go up here to public peers and then you scroll down and then click on public peers. And here are all the peers that you can use uh, to connect to. So let's see, uh, just you can use the Russian peers uh, because most, uh, looking at the network, most of the stuff is in Russian. Not necessarily, but a lot of the um, uh, forum usage and stuff is in Russian, but yeah. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the United States or whatever is closest to you. Or if you want, you can just add everything here if you want, but, but you don't really need to. So uh, go to the United States, copy all of these, um, copy all of these peers, put them in here and remove uh, the section back here. And when you save that, so you, you're gonna save this file. And when you save this file, you're gonna run the uh, systemctl restart yggdrasil command. And when you do that, you're gonna have, the network is gonna be uh, running a new computer. So you will start uh, being able to connect to these peers. And when you do that, you're gonna be able to actually start using the services on the yggdrasil network itself. So to get started with the services, you're just going to click on here, the public services section of this website. And these are all of the public services being hosted by Yggdrasil. So they have the Yasi uh, search engine. They have a couple of forums hosted. They have a Wikipedia. And I recommend you go down to uh, this uh, Wikipedia and uh, check it out because a lot of the, uh, a lot of the services being hosted by uh, the people who use this network uh, are listed here in the Wikipedia. Uh, there's also IRC, that's a good one. Uh, but yeah, so just to go to this Wikipedia section or go to the Wikipedia website. And here you have uh, a couple of things hosted. So for example, uh, here's a Minecraft server. You can connect to a Minecraft server over your cell. Uh, there is a paste bin. Uh, there is a peer tube instance. So uh, Yggdrasil has a lot of things that are uh, being hosted on it, but you may be asking, how do I um, how do I host something on Yggdrasil itself? Well, it, it's pretty simple. If you're connected to Yggdrasil, anyone can connect to you and use your services. So all you do is just ho just download a service on your computer. Like for example, right now I have the Apache web server running on my computer. And if I give my uh, Yggdrasil address to anyone, they will be able to connect to me and use the Apache server. Now, to get your uh, Yggdrasil address, you're gonna type if config in your uh, terminal, and you're gonna take this uh, IPv6 address, and you're gonna take that, uh, put it up here into, the, <clears throat> put it up here into the address bar and put these uh, square brackets. So if, uh, oh wait, that's not the one. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, okay, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I got kind of confused here, but yeah. So just to go to uh, that address, whichever it is, it could be the first one, second one, and you're gonna 
basically see uh, you're going to be able to connect to uh, any service that's being hosted. So uh, if you're hosting a Minecraft server, if you're hosting uh, a web server, if you're hosting a VoIP server, anything like that, uh, you're able to get your friends to use it simply by uh, getting each other on that network. So if you're on the network, you're able to connect without having to do a lot of configuration.